Hello YouTube, this is Bowtied Media, and today I've got a brand new reaction for you guys. It is Karma Fields KF Kong. Does it mean Karma Fields Kong? I'm not sure. That would make sense, but we are going to react. Also, this video was voted on by the Silver and Golden Bowtied members. Hopefully I'll remember to bring in the graphic right here, and you can see that the voting, that was the voting for this week, and so if you want to have a say in what kind of videos are produced on this channel, join today. So let's get into it though. Uh, Karma Fields. Uh, I've been a fan for a while, ever since Karma Fields joined with Monster Cat. They've been on my, or he's been on my radar. Uh, I, I was almost going to go to one of the, one of his concerts, but I, I didn't end up making it. And uh, yeah, Karma Fields does this like super experimental EDM style is the best way I would put it. It's very cinematic or orchestral or uh, sometimes like dark and gritty, but um, it, Overwork is a, probably the best example I could say uh, that would be similar at least in some capacity to Karma Fields. But uh, new song, I think an album's got to be coming out soon because uh, there's all this similar artwork, uh, and so I it's got to be something too. Yeah, with like Code Ten Thirty Two Dot Me. There's yeah, there really should be an album coming out soon. I think I don't I don't actually know for sure, but uh, here we go. This is uh, three minutes and forty five seconds. Uh, KF Kong. I'm interested to see if this is gonna like actually build into something big or if this is gonna be this kind of style for the most part. I do enjoy it right now. Not where I expected the drop to go. Ah, oh, wasn't there one there? I do like those synth sounds a lot. Gotta be here now, because I missed last one. Yeah, there we go. Interesting song so far. It reminds me actually a lot of the Swedish House Mafia tracks right now, or the two. Like, it feels like a, a pseudo mix between, like, Lifetime and It Gets Better. Love those hi hats. They're fairly basic, but they're really crisp. I like that string so much. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, that song reminded me, seriously, a lot like uh, a mix between both like Lifetime uh, and It Gets Better by Swedish House Mafia with uh, not a house take on it, though. More of a uh, electronica or electronic take on it. I know electronic sometimes is this overarching genre, but um, I like to think of electronic as like this kind of style of more kind of laid back, more very uh, mechanical sounding tracks. Um, I, uh, yeah, but that was KF Kong. Uh, I liked it. I, I was a fan. Um, I think Karma Fields also does a lot better in the grand scheme of their projects. Uh, I think when you listen to uh, their individual singles in a vacuum or... Is that not the right word? When you listen to it on Spot, uh, Spotify Shuffle, or I mean, I use Spotify. When you listen to Karma Fields just one-offs kind of all over the place, you're like, oh, this is like a cool sound. But when you really take the time and listen to a whole album or whole project of Karma Fields, I think your experience is just exponentially... Uh, greatened or greater just because of how well everything flows in together. Yeah, I uh, that was one that I think will that is like right now I'm like yeah, that's good like a seven or eight out of ten song like the vibe was great but I think in the context of a greater album that will be a lot better for me uh, especially with considering what it might uh, be squished in between what other two tracks might be squished in between. Uh, but yeah, that felt like a fairly. Uh, I wouldn't say tamer Karma Fields track, but a, a almost clear cut. I don't even know the way to put it. It's like it's like as commercially as as commercial as Karma Fields gets uh, is this kind of track that is not even remotely close to that kind of commercial stuff, uh, but still kind of there if that makes sense. It just has a little more pop and a little more uh, groove to it that you don't find in a lot of the other tracks, especially from like New Age Dark Age, uh, and so. Yeah, I, uh, I I actually didn't mind that there weren't any vocals on this track. I do really, really like Karma Field's vocal songs. I just think they're more, uh, they feel more polished and they feel like a more intentional kind of track, whereas things like this feel a little more experimental and they don't feel like they're, uh, yeah, I don't know the best way to describe it in that sense, but uh, I really do like when Karma Field uh, pairs his production with vocals. Um, it's just something that I personally enjoy. It's not the same with all artists, but uh, but I, I did like that this one didn't have vocals, actually. I, I think it fit really well, and those kind of synth sounds were very similar-esque to what would be a vocal, or just someone going, ha, 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 or something like that. And um, So I get it. I, I mean, I get it, and so I, I, I was a fan. Way to go, Karma Fields. Uh, I should probably do some research to figure it out if there's an actual album here. I, I would assume so. The album art just feels so similar. What is it that all has this like bottom lower third text? Uh, where is it? Is it singles and EPs. Yeah, it's okay. Code 1032.me and KF Kong, all this exact same artwork. So I'm assuming there's an album coming out soon, so I'll be super stoked for it. And considering that would be the fourth single or the fourth single, uh, it's got to be soon in some capacity. So I'm stoked. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of KF Kong by Karma Fields. And uh, I also should probably know what KF stands for. I'm assuming it's Karma Fields Kong, but I may be wrong there. And so I like to go in these as blind as I can. So I, I don't actually know. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.